Okay, layer map. Because, you know, just leave that out there. Pick up the ceremonial dagger and first aid cut. So all we have is a ceremonial dagger right now. And I take a health drink. Look at the map. Look at that big boss arena in the right. It's great. Um, sector 3 is locked. I think. No, it's not. No, we're supposed to go down with sector, sector 3. Okay. But wait. I think there's a weapon back here. I think there's a... I think there's a pipe in this room. Yeah, pipe. Look at this fucking weirdo. Also, I want to say, I feel like... I, I have a theory as to why Pyramid Head is in this game. That would actually make sense. Ooh, a Mark 23 handgun. That's not my handgun, but okay. It'll do. Um, from the creator's commentary of Silent Hill 2, they say that Pyramid Head was created due to the Order and their sort of like executions, which implies that Pyramid Head is a general punishment. There's like a general punisher. And it also implies that he takes different forms. Which would be understandable and would explain the boogeyman in Downpour and his appearance in this game. But I would argue that the shape of Pyramid Head himself is James's creation because of what he saw in the historical society. It also would kind of explain the butcher in Silent Hill Origins because the butcher sort of represents Al Alex Tra Travis's uh, pent up rage and anger. This is very prominent in the bad ending of Origins where it sort of implied that he was on a murder spree instead of actually killing monsters and everything. Which is very interesting to me, because there's also the cause of death photographs in the motel area of that game, and maybe Travis did that. Maybe Travis killed those women. I enjoy that theory. A, a bunch. Oh, pry it open. But yeah, that is... That is essentially my reasoning for why Pyramid Head appears in this game and why the Butcher and the, the Boogeyman sort of take on similar roles without looking like Pyramid Head. It's because they basically are, but in a different form. Because they sort of imply that the monster of Pyramid Head is the embodiment of punishment and execution. Meanwhile, it didn't... Meanwhile, it said that his influence was James. Which means that he took that shape because of James. And... So... Yeah. The Butcher and the Boogeyman take on different shapes because of those protagonists. I really love the theory that I've created for that. Ooh, spooky. Curtis, stop! Yeah, it really gets ladies horny whenever you hold up the fucking circular saw. Cause that's what that face looked like it wanted. Also, look at your fucking eyebrows blinking in and out of existence. Like that grainy shit on your face. Because... <laughs> what is that greeny shit on his face and why does it blink in and out of existence whenever he... 
whenever the lights flicker. Okay, so we also pry open that door. I in no way believe that my theory is, like, canonical or correct, but it would explain a lot of things. So yeah, I would say it's possible. Like, definitely possible. Okay, so because he has the circular saw, and we all know how fucking long it takes for a circular saw to charge up, this boss fight is easy. Oh, lovely. There was actually... <laughs> in the previous playthrough of this, he, the camera angle was in the back, and it looked like he fucking severed the spine. And I was like, what the fuck happened there? Did you try to sever the spine? Which is funny, because I don't really think it's easy to sever a spine at the neck. Like, at the top of the neck. Because of the cervical, like, vertebrae. Vertebrae. Vertebrae, what the fuck is that? Okay, there should be a key in this room somewhere. To open up room 301 to get the final... Oh, look, a book. I'll read it later. To unlock the final room with the serum. But I have no idea where the fuck it is. Okay, it's in 321, I read. Oh, there it is. 301 key. 301 has the final serum, and let's read this book. It looks like a doctrine describing their faith. It reads, Every child born of the flesh bears the filth of the flesh that created it. The lives of the unpure are steeped in filth, and their deeds and words spread filth through the world. Even death is not enough to cleanse generations of this filth from the flesh. The only way to, is, the only way to ensure these poor souls can live pure lives is to cleanse the flesh from their bodies. So essentially fucking Silent Hill the movie, where they burn Alyssa alive because they wanted to cleanse her. Rather than, you know, the game, where Dahlia just did that so that Alyssa could unleash her powers. That was a fucked up thing to do. I love Dahlia Gillespie so much. See, she is like my favorite antagonist of this series. Just because she was... She did so many things that fucked over so many people. Let's go. And she was also basically the reason that a lot of this happens. She wasn't the driving reason because Silent Hill was always like that since the Native American times. But she was a big reason why, Amer why Silent Hill is like this now. And I love it. I love it. I also love that she was the driving force behind Walter Sullivan. Like, that is just amazing to me. It's like a full circle. <laughs> there we go. Room 301. Look at this shit! Holy fuck! I've never been in this room. It's a memo. It reads, The experiment failed. It was a shining hope for us all, but the weakness of a few has darkened the light for us all. However, we will survive. We must. Our purpose is too great to be halted at no, and no cost is too great in the service of our Lord. Shepherd's Glen is lost and its people are doomed to hell and don't even know it. It falls to us and our enduring order to save them. We alone can offer them salvation. And our salvation lies here in Silent Hill, where we belong all along. Where we belonged all along. Go save them all. They are frightened and know not what awaits them if they refuse us, so give them the choice. J A R H D H G P G G P J A R H D H None of these initials ring a bell to me. Oh my god, citizens of the Shepherd's Glen are being abducted and brought... 
you fucking know this? Holloway fucking confirmed this. Oh, bullets. 